it's time that I get used to vlogging every day and just doing some random crap. So I've got Peter in the car with me. Put it on you, bro. Hello, hello. And we are just going for a little bit of a drive. I don't know what we're gonna get up to today, but we're just gonna explore the hills in this, this beast of a car. And we still currently have some not really good tread tires on the back and all the stuff from the winter and day because I haven't unpacked the car yet. Lazy dog. Yeah, I know, I know, I've been bad. But uh, yeah, look at the scenery we got out here. Bro, damn, look at that. The air smells fresh, there's people walking on the road. That's how you know that we are in the middle of nowhere. Falcon Forte. Give us the nay. Nay. <laughs> nay. Nay. Alright. So we're kind of at that stage with the AU Falcon where I don't really know what else to do with it. It's pretty good how it is currently. Um, doesn't really need a turbo or anything. It's got great power with the uh, 3.45 diffs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It feels really good. Handles really nicely. Leave your uh, comments down below on what you think I should do to it next because, yeah, I'm pretty content with it. Togues really well. Drifts really well. Like, what else, bro? I don't really know. It's like a very good all-rounder. It, it does many, many things very well. And like, I've been on holidays with this car. Like, we took it to the snow. We've gone to Winton. We've gone everywhere in this thing. It's just Dude, too good. We have, man. It's actually too good. Like, I, I don't even need to care about it because it's so cheap. Yes. Yeah, just, just have fun. Best car for having fun. Look, honestly, I love bringing it to the hills because it does toge really, really well which is kind of a weird thing. And I know a lot of you guys found it weird that I put Toge and AU Falcon in one sentence in one of the other videos, but I'm telling you guys, this thing is a beast, beast on the Toge. Also, hope you guys are liking the drone footage. Woo! A few moments later. Bro, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it down now. We'll bring the thing down. Dude, I'm bringing it down. It takes time. Hang no, on. No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm, dude, what are get you off doing? it. What are you doing? I'm Don't touch it. Down. Take that. I am trying to take it down. You, I, it takes time. Wait, it's I coming need to down. It down. Look, it's right there. You Whoa, what the f? Get off. Get off you. What are you doing? I'm, I'm taking it down. You can take it down now or they'll call the police, mate. Yeah, I'll call the police on you. What the fuck, man? I'm trying to take it down. You couldn't just be like, hey mate, like could you take the drone down? Which did I, did, I, was did doing I not that. just say no, that? you f***ing came up and you grabbed me. Like, well, I don't understand that. Like, this is unnecessary. It's literally so unnecessary. You could just be like, hey mate, can you take the drone out, down from the air? And I would have done that. And that's, and that's what, what I, I was f***ing trying to do, right? And that's what I did. No, you just you grabbed my chest. No, I didn't. For no reason, yes, you did. Because you you're laughing me. and thinking it's No mate, laughing. I was trying to f***ing get it down, but it was up in the air. The adrenaline sort of clicked kicked in pretty hard so I'm still trying to understand what just happened. Um, we were flying the drone absolutely legally and this guy came up to us and he grabbed my chest without even saying anything. He's like, what are you doing? And he just grabbed my jumper straight away pretty much. Rex was flying the drone and it was over like the forest area. Then the guy came out because he got angry that we were filming like near him or near his property even though we weren't filming his property and he grabbed Rex by the jumper and then he grabbed, tried to grab the drone controller and snatch it out of his hands. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, kept, he kept telling me to yeah. bring the drone down and I'm like, bro, I'm bringing the drone down. Just give me a second. And he kept trying to grab the controller off me. Like, Wait. that's so counterintuitive, man. If you want me to take the drone down, then let me take it down with the controller, you idiot. Yeah, it's was, it was a bit of a, like a, a bit of a lull now that we're looking back on it, but like, yeah. that dude's an idiot. Yeah. Like, I've never been in a situation like that, but I just didn't think people were that dumb. Anyway, we're going to continue on our, on our journey, have a little bit more fun up here and see what else we get up to. But that was crazy what the hell yeah did not rate that situation no did not rate that at all well we didn't get bashed and none of the stuff got stolen so we're chilling yeah <laughs> oh get off me man what do you guys think that was you should have um you should have told him where to go where's should've, that should have told him to go for a long walk to go get fucked <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Ranked in Magnet. <laughs> so now we're playing some basketball in the park because there's nothing else to do. Uh, show, show us how Nathan shoots. Show us Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to fly the drone in the park and these boys are going to play some basketball. Hopefully someone doesn't try That's to right, fight us. Mac Mac. Oh, 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 ready the whole way. Mac Mac. Pecton, where are your car today? I still can't believe that happened. I just finished editing that vlog and I just still can't comprehend how someone can tell you to take a drone out of the air while trying to grab the controller out of your hands. I spent a bit of time thinking about whether I should upload a video like this and I think there's something you can take away from it. Just be really careful of you know flying a drone or filming anywhere even though you can do it legally and we were doing it legally we weren't flying over his house or anything um, people can still get very upset I can understand where he was coming from he probably thought that we were filming his property or something like that and I can understand why he was upset in that regard you don't want film people filming your stuff like whatever but you don't act physically like he, he his response was entirely wrong he grabbed me um, straight away and that's just not the right thing to do so just be really careful guys where you're filming things like that can happen um, and if you do want to film like semi risky stuff which wasn't it wasn't even that risky then make sure you bring a friend luckily i had peter because peter's a big guy and you know the mans can protect me if if need be <laughs> but yeah just be really careful guys definitely very different to our usual content but hopefully our usual content will resume soon hope nothing like that happens to any of you guys filming in the public and i will see you in the next one see ya <laughs> yeah!